right here, and Hugh is tired. <laughs> God blame him. How level, uh, high level all these people are, because they're obviously higher than level 27 or whatever they are uh, at present. I wonder what level they are in actuality. Well, hopefully, I'm actually in the room because I actually want to see this cutscene. Darkness. Oh, if I'm not, I'm fucked. <laughs> El Kol Hitra Bublo Hans. The mighty slayer of Ifrit comes now to me. Sky from the vision. <laughs> Seize that on Rajya Dorn. With a countenance that bespeaks understanding. Thagon well wrong. Tosan no Paiki. An interest in power, the Echo. I must needs choose my words with care. They're fighting the boss right Mayhap now. Mayhap I might if I deign to speak in my guest cruel tongue. We meet at last. I am Lahabrea of the Asians, servant to the one true god. Yours is a most fantastical tale, truly absorbing. It is a tale to tell Eorzea's children before bedtime, and it will soon be dark, bringer of light. The Dark Minions. All that stands between this world and darkness is an irksome anomaly in the ether. The Echo. Yes. Yours is a most fascinating tale. I feel like such an asshole not helping them out, but cutscene they could have waited. of evil. For the end of your tale is but the beginning of another. The tale of the crystal's demise. Oh no, fancy face wear. Whatever will I do. I feel like an ass. <laughs> yes, feel free to cheer your arm, you can piss off. Best as I can, best I can tell, they didn't even, didn't even notice. Mar Marauder's arm, Marauder's arm, ass. I didn't see the, you know, the quest NPC in there. Or, you know, if I was to interact with something, I didn't see it. Because this is it. <laughs> 
Finally, fresh air. Mayhap not so fresh, but better than before. Ah, since this one is gone, this one can leave this awful place. Hmm? Did Walking One vanquish the many legged one? Uh, this one is is grateful to Walking One. I thought the the many legged one just it was just made. I was that one he prepared earlier, and the one he toasted earlier, and toasted when he was talking to us, was just one he was working on. Is that what's what their speech would imply? Ah, reading too much into it. Just rewatch. I'll just have to rewatch this in the cutscene. I in post in whatever. Words are escaping me. This one is called Freakso, eldest of do of these ones of little sauce. Alpha Squad reporting, sir. Nothing of note at Lark's, Lark's call, sir. Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all. Where is that accursed econ hiding? No sign of a wizened friend? I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order that the uh, search uh, perimeter be expanded? Absolutely not. We risk alerting the Gardenians to our presence. His excellency bid us uh, avoid unnecessary confrontation. Well, though I am to admit it, I found no evidence to suggest that Rama will be gracing, uh, gracing the mortal realm in the near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? Were I a sylph, I should strongly consider myself. Uh, I should strongly consider finding myself another idol. Which reminds me. What of the sylphs we captured? Handful of them seem to be in, in reasonably good health when last I looked. Ah, uh, apologies, my lord. I fear we have may we we may have been overzealous in our efforts to compel them to summon their I econ. <sighs> really, Centurion? We are not aware that the vegetables bruise easily the vegetables bruise easily. It is well that I did not entrust you with the important task of making my dinner. Well, mayhap it was a kindness. Better dead in truth than dead to one's own god, I suppose, if you believe in such things. Dawn is upon us. Make ready to withdraw. <laughs> Useless. We, we are so close to completion, I can taste it, but at this rate... No, I must be patient. Our efforts will bear fruit in due time. What was it you always said? Ah, yes. Though it, though it, sorry. Though it mean bringing down the very heavens, who shall challenge the limits of possibility? It's not we. That you are, and that alone you are right, Garland. But your star is long fallen, while mine doth begin to rise, and and it shall burn so bright. So bright that Lord von Belsar's ultimate weapon, who seem a mere candle beside it. <laughs> These walking uh, those walking ones did for Noxia. This one is certain of it. This one fears that the. Uh, that other taken ones also suffered the same fate. This one is convinced. Walking ones have black hearts. Seek only to harm these ones. Walking ones are not to be trusted. Now, now, Noxia. Do not pass judgment too hastily. Not all walking ones are alike. Though there are evil ones among the walking ones. There are good ones also. Hmm. 
Hmm? Does walking one feel unwell? This one would know. Uh, what brings walking one to this place? It came to this one's rescue at Noxie's bidding. Then this one owes walking one a good debt of gratitude. Hmm? Walking one has questions about Lord Rama. Then this one will provide answers. But first, let us quit this lifeless uh, place. This one will return to Little Sauce. When Walking One is ready, please come and see this one. These ones m may speak them properly. Then it is settled. Let this one come in, one Walking One outside. Now to talk about the other thing. Damn. Uh, sometimes when I want to talk about a topic, I get on a kick. I get on like a groove, and if it's interrupted, then the groove's gone, and it's like, ah, I don't want to say that. No. Um, there's some some dumbass I saw before. I believe he made a com it was a comic guy. Maybe it was the guy behind PvP comics. I don't know. Uh, the PvP web comic thing. Um, I can't remember. But all I remember is, uh, I remember he got worked up over something, certainly, but I'm not sure if he was the same guy in this case. Um, but the guy in this case, anyway, he, um, ooh, excuse me. He was talking with a guy, and the guy said he had a degree in history. And the guy in question proclaimed that it. You know, green history is a sign the guys living in the past, and feminism's way to future, man. Yeah. I can't remember the exact phrasing, but yes, he seemed to have issues with acknowledgement, with, you know, knowing the past. The thing about, well, maybe it's less knowing the past, but certainly didn't seem to have a very positive opinion of a history degree, insofar as, you know, it, it was a sign you were living in the past. Certainly living in the past is not a good thing, but complete ignorance of it isn't either. And certainly he wants people to be following his ideology. And seemingly, you know, and just flinging themselves forward, regardless of, you know... I'm sorry, I've said this before, and I had a great phrasing of it then, and now since I'm trying to say it now, I'm wondering, am I saying it right? Am I being accurate? But we study the past for many reasons. It can be helpful to, you know, it can help us avoid tragedies of the past. While, while it might necessarily give meaning to the people's deaths, you know, make, make it so they didn't die for nothing, at the very least, the best we can do is make, do it so that, you know, people won't die, you know, people might die like that again. The Holocaust won't happen again. We might be able to avoid, um, po pogroms. We, you know, do whatever. Whatever it is, maybe we can avoid it. You know, we can learn from the past, learn from mistakes of the past, and strive so they don't happen again. So a guy shitting on a, you know, a history degree is shitting on that, to me, is shitting on that very idea. Shitting on the very idea of preventing the tr horrors of the past. And it's just seeing, thinking that by f people fervently, cultishly following his ideology, everything will be perfect. No, it won't. I know pe what people say about feminism is about equality and whatnot. There's a lot of quite forward feminists out there, and then quite annoyingly, they're the ones being listened to. I, I, everyone is forward. I'm, when I keep in mind, whenever I talk about this and say, no, oh, someone's forward, blah, 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 or if they're making a mistake, I'm not acting as if I never do it. I just find a lot of these people, 
Black Ontane I have. The ability to look inside myself, in, inside themselves, and see a flaw. And, and see, like, oh, I got a flaw here. I've got this issue. Uh, sometimes one of my flaws is actually, I will jump and see flaws that aren't actually there. I'll think, oh, I'm bad at this. In reality, I'm not. Or I've got this issue when it's not. These people, if they do ever acknowledge flaws, they won't acknowledge. I've this is from what I've seen. Keep in mind, they won't see them as a flaw. Like for example, some may see hate white people, or see black people as in are um, people of color, as they'll phrase it, as so weak and powerless and useless that my, like a white person like say me merely drawing breath is enough to crush them underfoot I don't need to actually do anything I could you know ho hope the best for them because you know or just not really care much either way because yeah I am too you know you know I'm tired of doing my own thing and that's yet yeah, it's, it's still too much for them fair and they'll see this as something horrible, something to be proud of, the right thing, the moral thing, rather than a failing, a flaw that they need to overcome. That and striving and to overcome a thing, and whether or not you succeed, it's still laudable to do so. That is, you know, the good thing. Not seeing a failing and treating it as well, the right thing, like they do. Certainly not all of them do this, but an uncomfortable amount certainly do. And it's, it's an uncomfortable amount of people that are getting behind it. It's actually quite annoying. I'm, As I've said in other videos, I'm a big fan of people being treated right. Being treated equally. I give li little shits. What, are you male? Are you female? Are you white? Are you black? Are you anything else? I don't, I don't really care. I, I, I have too much shit going on in my own head and in my own life to care about the amount of melanin you have in your skin or what gentles you have in your pants. I have too much shit going on to care. So, I, so I think you know I've seen the little reason for you to be mistreated. So I'm quite annoyed when people, in the name of equality, advocate mistreatment, advocate bigotry, because. They're hurting people and making it harder to actually treat people right. But anyway, with the point on history is, like I was saying, we study history to know. In part, you know, part of it is it helps us prevent the tragedies of the past. So him advocate, seemingly shaming someone for having a degree in history, having a greater than average knowledge in history. That's basically, you know, it. And not just fixating on their on this guy's particular flavor of feminism is advocating for people to recklessly fling themselves forward again and again, no matter what the past has told us. Certainly, we shouldn't be fixating on the past, but we should like have one eye on the past, one eye on the present, and one on the future. I know we've only two eyes. It's but that's the point. It's a balancing act. But, you know, the guy isn't, ad isn't advocating for that. He's advocating two eyes on the future through the lens of his ideology. Which isn't the best of things. Certainly, I don't want to make it sound like I'm not biased or flawed in any way. I, I am as much as anyone else. But like I said, I can see that. I can look inside myself and see that I have those flaws. I can see that I have that bias. I find a lot of people have difficulty with that. And there's one point I made before is I find a lot of people are the wrong person to actually comment on these issues, uh, comment on these topics. Um, because you're dealing with legal things, and legal things are confusing and messy. And um, if you're a really flawed person and you're dealing with really conf touchy, confusing, messy topics and that could really hurt people if you mishandle them and you're flawed in the right way that you 